Hey guys. <clears throat> Today I have a special review for you. Uh, as promised, my Spidey mug is here along with all my other stuff. Uh, first of all, I want to apologize if you can't understand me. I apologize for the voice tone. I have a cold. And it's really kicking the crap out of me. I hate it when I have a cold, but anyway. Uh, today is my last review of the year, uh, which I'm pretty both uh, pretty excited and a little sad. Uh, don't worry, I'll, I'll still be making uh, more reviews, but uh, since it's a special location, this is going to be my last review of the day, I'm going to take a look at one of my uh, favorite big figures. This is actually uh, one I got a long time ago, about uh, 2003 or 2004. I got it in the summer at uh, Toys R Us, if I'm not mistaken. He's none other than the uh, Marvel Studios... <coughs> Sorry. Uh, the Marvel Studios 12-inch Daredevil figure. This guy's my first 12-inch. And I didn't even know he was a 12-inch until uh, a couple of months ago. That I decided to measure it, and I said, well, I was always whining about, eh, I don't have a 12-inch, I want a 12-inch, blah, blah, blah. When I found this guy uh, just laying there in my uh, drawer, and I decided to measure him, and I uh, realized he was a 12 inch. Anyway, uh, I don't know what to do. Should I sit him or should I? Uh, no, it should probably be the best. Uh, he has a nice sculpt and detail, like uh, any other uh, 12 inch. This wave was featured with along uh, with uh, sorry many many characters such as Wolverine, Blade, the movie version of Blade, and such. I, uh, a disclaimer first. This is not the uh, Icons Daredevil. The Icons, Icons Daredevil is a uh, whole different version. Uh, but this one is not too bad. I can live with him. Uh, what else can I say about this? Well, I can say... Uh, I just can't say enough good enough uh, enough good things. Sorry about this figure. The uh, the suit or the jumpsuit is made actually out of a uh, soft leathery plastic, which gives the impression of uh, being made out of leather. Uh, the gloves come with uh, kind of steel knuckles, as featured in the movie. Uh, he comes with his double D logo on one side of the chest. Uh, he comes with a uh, removable belt and holster. Uh, the holster fits two nunchakus. Like so. The nunchucks are very screen accurate. Sorry, one has the devil here, and uh, yeah, they're pretty, pretty much screen accurate. They're both joined by a uh, rope, and they fit nicely in the holsters, like so. I'm guessing he came with two nunchucks, but for some reason they decided to uh, take one away or something like that. Here we have another baton. Pretty awesome. Again, 100% uh, screen accurate. Crap, come on. There we go. Uh, both the nunchucks, nunchucks, sorry, and his baton uh, fit nicely in either of his hands. Ah, the jumpsuit comes with a uh, zipper. in here, which uh, obviously works and reveals Daredevil's uh, musculature. This is uh, a rubbery plastic. I'm trying to see much of a point in uh, putting some more skin in there. But well, uh, I think the boots are removable as well. Uh, nice detailing. The boots, I'd say this uh, figure is <coughs> Sorry. 
100% screen accurate. Uh, one of the best figures I have. I'm really proud of uh, buying him. And actually, he wasn't so so expensive. He was in that time about uh, 50 bucks or 30 bucks, something like that. But he didn't uh, exceed the 50 bucks. We even back to the uh, the costume. We even see the uh, kind of lines or uh, abdominal markings that the costume has in the movie. Uh, so yeah. Uh, the cost the pants also come with a uh, button or something in case he wants to go to the bathroom. He can go. Uh, the figure comes with a uh, strap somewhere around here, so you, you can uh, strap the uh, the neck piece. More awesome uh, detailing in here, as you can see. Uh, he's pretty much articulated, well, as far as I can tell. The articulation, I'm gonna have to sit this guy out. The articulation in the head, shoulders, uh, elbows, forearms. And I think he's got articulation in the uh, torso. Yeah, both the torso, uh, swivel hips. Boy, all jointed knees and no articulation in the ankles, unfortunately. I have a bit of a, tr uh, have a bit of a hard time standing this guy up for some strange reason. He doesn't come with a he didn't come with a display stand. Now I'm gonna uh, give you a look at his baton, his Matt Murdock baton. It's a little bent, but. Uh, I think it can be fixed. Wow. Uh, here you see the baton. Now this, according to the movie, I just learned uh, a few weeks ago, uh, the the cane comes with both an angel and the devil. When Murdoch twists uh, the angel aside and the devil comes up, the uh, the cane retracts and it stays as this, the baton or the billy club, uh, which, by the way, I'm, I'm making my own uh, Daredevil billy clubs, and I'm not so uh, so far behind schedule. I'm actually made a really good progress this week. Still a little uh, unfinished business there, but uh, I'll have it complete by the end of the year, and I'll show them to you. Uh, very nice detailing on the cane, and like I said. It's nicely in Fornhead's hand. And that's basically about it. Oh, I wanted to show you uh, before I go something which I thought was really cool. Uh, for those of you who have seen the Daredevil movie, uh, you'll know that he doesn't wear a, a mask properly. He wears kind of a uh, mixture between a helmet and a mask. But anyway, uh, not a major. He's got an amazing likeness to uh, Ben Affleck, which is awesome, and it's a masterpiece. Well, uh, one of the cool things this figure has is that we can even see the hair in here, which I think is awesome. Uh, and before I go, uh, you can pose him any way you want. Basically, uh, I, I have a little uh, bit of hard time posing this guy for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much about it. Uh, if you can get this guy, again, this is another no-brainer. If you want him, go get him. I don't know how uh, hard he is to get. See, he fell on me. I don't know how hard he is to get or how cheap or expensive it is these days. But, uh, it's a definite must for any uh, Marvel collector or Daredevil fan such as myself. I consider myself a uh, hardcore Daredevil fan. If you want him, go get him. Uh, so this has been my last review of the year. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'll be back with tons and tons of reviews next year. Uh, have a Merry Christmas and uh, a Happy New Year. Eat a lot. Uh, drink a lot of your drinkers. <laughs> uh, 
um, uh, spend uh, these holidays with your family, get a lot of toys, uh, play a lot, be with the ones you love, <sighs> hell, do whatever that you want, but just have a good time. Thanks, guys. I'll see you later.